Hello everyone, welcome to Mercodes. In this video, we are going to solve the question special strings again, which is a part of the interview preparation kit and we are going to solve it using Python. If you aren't already subscribed to this channel, then do subscribe for coding and other tech related content. With that, let's get started. So this question defines a special string if it meets two conditions, which is that all the characters are the same. So if the entire string is of the same characters then that is a special string and all characters except the middle one are same so it's sort of like a palindrome but same characters on either sides of the middle character so that is what makes a string a special string now the question is that we have to count how many special substrings are there in any given string which the user provides so they've defined a special substring as any substring of a string which meets these requirements. So we have to count how many special substrings are there in the string that they provide. So over here in this example, S contains 12 special substrings, which is uh, all the characters individually. So the length of that entire string is going to be like the number of substrings and whatever other strings are there are like a bonus. So these are some strings which are like palindromic in nature and this is a repeated substring which meets the first uh, condition. So we have to write this function substring count and return the number of special substrings. So this is an example over here where this one has 5 plus ASA plus SAS. So it's 7. This one has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 plus 3 and these are all palindromic and this one as you can see is an entirely repeated string it has 10 how did we get this 10 it's 4 individual plus 3 pairs of like double digit strings then 2 pairs of 3 digit strings and 1 4 pair string so it's 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 and if this length was higher you just have 1 plus 5 over there so now that we have understood the question properly let's get started the way we're going to start this question is first i'll create a list l which will contain all the like counts of the characters and in but in the right order because you can't rearrange characters right so for that we'll have this l which stores the number of counts of characters we'll have one variable called count initialized to zero and we'll have a character chr which is set to none right now this is basically to store the characters of the string one by one so first we are going to loop through the string s for i in range n now we check for the character so if s at i is equal to character we increase a count of that character so now what we are going to do over here is that we are going to store each character with its count. So over here as you can see for this one, first we have A. So we will have A stored with 1, then B will be stored with 1, then C will be stored with 1 and so on. But for something like this, we will just have 1 A and then we will have a count of 4. We will store it in a tuple because basically we want to store it in the order that we assign it into. and if there's an A over here and an A over here, then we need to store them separately and at those specific positions. That's why we're using a list so that we have that uh, index thing. If we had used a dictionary, then we can't store A twice. So that is why we're using a tuple. So S of I is equal to character, then we increase the count. Initially, when it's none, this step will be skipped and it will directly come to the next step where we'll have this condition. If character is not none then we append l l dot append with character so over here I've noticed that chr is a special token so we can't use it so we'll call it ch because chr is used for characters so we'll append character with count so this is the tuple which we are storing at each index in the list L. And now if ch is none, which is at the first point, 
then we set character to si and set the count to 1 so this will be the first occurrence now we will come to the main part which is counting the number of substrings so we will have an answer variable equal to 0 and now as you have seen we will do the first easy part which is this so there is one thing which will always be counted which is the length of the string and the repeated like neighboring things which are there like a a a a or for this example over here this o o that is common so this in itself will count as three because these two o's plus this one so for this what we are going to do is see over here when the length is two the count is two plus one which is two single plus one double as i explained before for four it is four plus three plus two plus one so basically we are counting all the digits up to the length so how are we going to do that we'll do it with for i in l which is the list that i just showed answer will be equal to the count of all the digits which will automatically be taken so that is i at 1 i at 0 is the character i at 1 is the number i at 1 into i at 1 plus 1 so this is what we'll multiply it with and we'll flow divide it with 2 so this is the formula that we use for uh, like counting all the digits up until the number so 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 is 10 and over here if we take 4 into 5 by 2 even that is 10 so this is a simpler hack and now we have answer over here but now we need to check for the palindromic part and for that we'll put another condition for i in range 1 to length of l minus 1 so now we'll put a condition if l at i minus 1 so because we are taking i minus 1 here we are starting with 1 if we would have started with 0 then we would have taken i plus 1 and i over here in this entire condition and the length would be like 1 lesser than what it is right now it will be l minus 2 so if l at i minus 1 and 0 so over here in this condition we had i at 1 directly because i was l i minus 1 but over here we have l i minus 1 as this i and this 0 over here because here we want the character so if this character is equal to the next character which is l i plus 1 at 0 now look carefully that i minus 1 i and i plus 1 so if this is equal to this this is how we are checking the middle number out and just comparing these two if this is equal to this and now we'll check for another condition that i should not be more than one character because they have said only the middle number can be different so we'll check if l at i 1 is equal to 1 so l at i the count of it is equal to 1 then i will erase this then we have answer equal to and we count the previous one min of l of i minus 1 and l of i plus 1 so basically the min of this entire thing so i'll just copy this but now we are taking the counts of this so this step counts the number of characters at this position and this counts the number of characters at this position so if there's a string called a a t a a a then you can have this and this as the special strings not like any other combination so that is why we'll count the minimum number and now that this is done we return the answer let's run mm, it's giving one extra count okay, two less than the expected output okay and
that is because let's just print uh, let's just print L over here okay so it's missing the last alphabet I forgot to notice this previously but okay so it's missing the last alphabet yeah because after this point if it finds a new alphabet in the end then it needs to append that as well right so we'll have to append that over here ch comma count so we append that over here uh, sorry over here outside the loop okay so yeah i think now it should work sorry for the error yeah it's working now cool let's submit the code now yep so that's how you solve this question special string again if you like this video then do hit the like button sorry for the mess up in between but yeah like that does happen and even if such a thing happens with you in an interview it's not a very big deal and they will most often let you get away with it and not reject you for that particular reason of like missing a line so don't worry about that and see you in the next video